there's two things that, that I would be expecting people to be to be um, thinking about when they come to Warrabin Estate School. The first one is about um, a belief in the children and their abilities at Warrabin Estate School. A belief that that the children at Warrabin Estate School um, can learn and achieve at a at a rate as good or a better than any other kid in this country. So it's that very strong belief in the children. I would want from you a desire to, to uh, interact with community, to support uh, them in supporting uh, you, to, to improve things for their child. Probably the second thing is about high expectations. So, so uh, you know, for me, it's high expectations, high expectations, high expectations. Well, it is important for the teachers to get to know other people on community, such as uh, there's the Warburton Aboriginal Shire Council, and their staff, and of course there is the state police. They have uh, PLOs, the Aboriginal police. And there's also the Wadja Wadja uh, teachers up at uh, the high school, and maybe that might be good for the, uh, the later learning with the grade six, sevens, to uh, work in with uh, some of the teachers here. And I know that most of the, the, the mainstream teachers that come out to Warabinder, first time some of them are first time on an Aboriginal community and therefore it's a, it's a sort of a, a culture shock to them when they see an Aboriginal community full of Aboriginal people. Our community has become a very peaceful and settled community after struggling through you know, issues of alcohol and drug abuse and domestic violence where our parents have, have, have reached out and seen that they need their children to get the best of education. They are now starting to encourage their kids to go to school a lot better than it was 10 years ago. Although we're achieving that, we're still not achieving certain levels of, of uh, maths, reading and writing as per the mainstream. The chance to get the best teachers we can to this community will help our kids achieve equal status as, as the rest of Australia. Well, the expectation I'd like from the new teachers here mm. that come to Warabinda is um, um, uh, mixing in with, with the community, um, uh, going around and seeing parents about um, the children work, even taking um, um, uh, samples of the children's work out into the community and, 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 and uh, along with the teacher aide so that um, the teacher aide can break that barrier between the parent and the teacher. It's important for the teachers to get to know the parents of the, our children and um, our, some of our elders. They might have free time to come and meet with the teachers, new teachers, just to sit down and explain anything they need to know about our children. When you live in a place like this, try to become the people because you're going to teach the children. Become the people and then try and settle into the community. Not lock yourself away in your little cubby house. Nobody know you. Nobody know what you're going to do. We see you in the morning go past in the afternoon you come past again. I don't know you. So if you look at the medical history of Aboriginals, if they're deaf, well they can't bloody hear. And so I think the schools got pretty good now and they put um, headphones and speakers and that type of stuff, but we never had that before. And then they wonder what was wrong with the kids, but the, because we've got a good medical team that go down and check them out, it'd be quite surprising how many kids have a hearing problem. Interact with more parents, more, Go out into the community uh, along with the teacher aid because this is where the teacher aid play the most important role in their lives um, because not only that they are seen at school but also they're seen in the community 
and 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 they are highly recommended, recognised by the children. Not only because they're in school, oh, well, they're going into my house as well, you know. And that gives children confidence within themselves. And the third would be, um, um, I suppose, just going to any activities within the community and and mixing with other people either could be football, could be netball or whatever. But, but the most important thing, most important thing is, is mixing in with the community. Previously, years ago, some of the teachers didn't uh, mix with community people. And therefore, they are needless to say, nothing worked. So, but now there, there have been some programs where even in the, on the weekends, like uh, our sporting uh, teacher, Mr. Hill, he takes some of the kids on football uh, Saturdays. This is in his own times. A lot of the kids, biggest mob of kids and some of the parents come along, they really have a good time on a Saturday. I know because some of the bus driver. When you understand Aboriginal history or island history, you feel a bit better because your world's starting to come together with us. And if you don't know it, don't be afraid to ask. But we will tell them. We will tell them. We'll be proud to tell the history of Warabinda. And no matter what the social issues are, you will make sure our kids are taught the best of education.